This video treated as a podcast, the history of De La Soul from the Free Encyclopedia. On acknowledging our discontent via, let's begin. De La Soul is an American hip-hop group formed in 1988, the village of Amityville on Long Island, New York. They are best known for their eclectic sampling, quirky lyrics, and contribution to the evolution of jazz, rap, and alternative hip-hop subgenres. Kelvin Postanus Mercer, David Trugoy the Dove, Jolica and Vincent Massio Mason formed the group in high school and caught the attention of producer Pierce Paul with a demo tape of the song Plug Tunin. With its playful wordplay, innovative sampling, and witty skits, the group's debut album Free Feet High and Rising 1989 has been called a hip-hop masterpiece. It remains their biggest commercial success, though subsequent albums have continued to receive acclaim. De La Soul is the second longest standing native tongues group after the Jungle Brothers. In 2006, the group won a Grammy for their collaboration with Gorillaz on their single Feel Good Inc. Of course. The group released a Kickstarter funded album and The Anonymous Nobody in 2016. The album features guest appearances from artists such as Damon Albarn, Little Dragon, David Byrne, Two Chains, and Snoop Dogg. True Boy the Dove unfortunately died in 2023. De La Soul's debut album, Free Feet High and Rising, released in 1989, was a critical smash hit in the hip-hop genre. They quickly became prominent members of the Native Tongues posse, along with A Tribe Called Quest, Black Sheep, Queen Latifah, and The Jungle Brothers, among others. The single Me, Myself, and I became a huge hit, further cementing the group's popularity. However, the 60s pop group The Turtle sued De La Soul for using a sample from their 1969 hit You Showed Me for the interlude track Transmitting Life from Mars. Lyrically, much of Free Feet High and Rising focused on striving for peace and harmony. Free Feet High and Rising also introduced De La Soul's concept of the D-A-I-S-Y-A, an acronym standing for Da Inner Sound, y'all. As a result, audiences were quick to peg the members of De La Soul as hippies. This stereotype greatly agitated the group's members, as they always envisioned their career as a constantly changing style. This frustration would influence their next recording sessions. In the press kit for Free Feet High and Rising, the members explained their stage names. Trugoy, when reversed, spells yogurt because he likes yogurt, and Postanus, spelled backwards, is sound sop. The album artwork was designed by radical British artist collective The Grey Organization. De La Soul's second album, De La Soul is Dead, 1991, was a much more mature album. It featured a wealth of material that criticised the violent, careless direction that hip-hop was heading in at the time, though it still managed to maintain a light, absurd sense of humour. The cover of the album features a broken daisy flower pot, symbolising the death of the D.A.I.S.Y. age, and the imagery that went along with it. The album spawned several singles, including The Dark Millie Pulled a Pistol on Santa, a tale of a young girl who could no longer take the sexual abuse from her father and the lead single, Ring 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 Ha Ha Hey, a story about people using the group's recent fame to try to launch their own careers. De La Soul collaborated with Black Sheep on Fanatic of the B-Word and Q-Tip from a tribe called Quest on a roller skating jam named Saturdays. Prince Paul makes an appearance on the mic in Pass the Plugs of a verse of his own. The album also more prominently featured Maceo as a rapper, providing verses of his own on Biddies in the BK Lounge, Afro Connections at a High Five, and Ring 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 Ha Ha Hey. Though it received mixed reviews and did not sell as well as Free Feet High and Rising, it eventually became a cult classic. The Source magazine listed the album as one of their top 100 hip-hop albums of all time, stating that its true genius is rarely understood. There are several major differences between the CD version of this album and the other formats, as the tracks Johnny's Dead aka Vincent Mason, My Brother's a Basshead, Kicked Out the House and Who Do You Worship are only available on the CD. The limited edition double vinyl promotional copies of the album distributed to the media before the official release did not feature these. I tend to think of this and Balloon Meister State as my favourite of the four major De La Soul albums, though all four of those first four studio albums, terrific stuff I will say. The group's first studio album, 1993's Balloon Mind State, saw the group evolve a new sound as they continued to go stylistically and musically. There are several moments on the album which prove the band had matured. I Be Blown was a departure as the track was an instrumental featuring saxophone playing by Masio Parker. The introspective I Am I Be showed De La Soul at their most self-referential to date with subject matter about Poe's daughter Ayana Monette as well as his grandmother. Long Island Wildin was a collaboration of Japanese hip-hop artists Kan Takaji, Major Force, and trio Shah Darapa, STP. The album's first single, Break at Dawn, used a sample of Michael Jackson's I Can't Help It and Smokey Robinson's Quiet Storm. De La Soul collaborated for the first time with Gangstar's Guru on Paddy Duke, female MC Shorty No Maz, a cousin of Postanus, was prominent on many tracks on the album, showcased particularly in the woods. The album ended with an old-school Bismarcky collaboration called Stone Age. Missing from vocal duties is Mace, whose voice can only be heard on area in a break near the end of the track. 
also rarely featured is his scratching, which was heard on often on previous albums, if only in the woods showcasing his talent in that area. The album was a critical success, but it was the biggest commercial failure for the group at the time of its release. Many publications, such as Rolling Stone, have listed the, this album as one of the best hip-hop albums of all time. In 1994, 500 copies of a promotional EP called Clue Lake Auditorium was released on clear vinyl and CD. The six-track EP contained edited versions of tracks off of Balloon Mind State, but also featured the tracks Sh Fit MCs, Shocking Female MCs, which was a collaboration with A Tribe Called Quest, and Sticks and Stones, which featured old-school hip-hop artists Grandmaster Kaz, Tito of Fearless Four, Whipper Whip, LA Sunshine, and Superstar. The EP was widely bootlegged afterwards. Stakes is High 1996 was the first album not produced by Prince Paul, with overall production credits given solely to the trio. Although it was met with poor sales, it has been critically lauded for its music, lyricism, and its overall message concerning the artistic decline rap music began to face in the mid-90s. The title track and first single, produced by Jay Diller, was not a hit, but the album's second single, It's So Easy Hot, with only Dave on vocals, did fare better due to its creative music video. The album spawned a third single, Four More, featuring Zane, Zane? I'm not sure how to pronounce that exactly here, which peaked at number 52 in the UK. The album did provide a launching pad for future star rapper and actor Moz Def, who appeared on the track Big Brother Beat. The album also featured collaborations of Common, True Fanola, and Jazzy Fat Nasties. Four years later, De La Soul announced they would release a triple album series entitled Artificial Intelligence, or AOI. All three albums were intended to be released within a year, beginning with the release of Artificial Intelligence Mosaic Thump. This was followed by AOI Bionics in late 2001. After this, however, the third and final album in the AOI series was never released. For the next few years, the only dealer sold releases were singles or remix compilations. David Trugoy the Dove Jolicoeur stated in an interview that it usually takes about four years for the group to record an album, promoted with advertisements, touring, and so on. The group was having trouble finishing the last AOI installment for many reasons, one of which being an ongoing struggle with Tommy Boy Records, which had been releasing its albums ever since its debut. In the summer of 2002, De La Soul toured with Cake, Modest Mouse, The Flaming Lips, Kinky, and The Hackensaw Boys during the Unlimited Sunshine tour. The band is briefly featured in the video game Parappa the Rapper 2 with the song Say I Gotta Believe featuring Double, and also appeared on the soundtrack of the game. In 2004, De La Soul released a new full album, The Grind Date, on Sanctuary slash BMG Records because the venture between Tommy Boy and Warner Brothers Records was shut down and the group's contract was, shipped, was shopped to the other WEA labels. The band thought about having its contract absorbed by Electro Records, but it decided to leave the WEA altogether. Although it was not the third AOI album fans had been expecting, the album was released to some critical acclaim and was well received by most fans. The album features guests MF Doom, Ghostface Killer, Butter vs. and Flavor Flav, with production from Ninth Wonder, Jake One, Mad Lib, and more. The lead single, Shopping Bags, She Got From You, did not fare very well and set the tone for disappointing commercial acceptance. In conjunction with the album's release, the group also offered up the track Come On Down, featuring Flavor Flav, for remixing on Sony's Acid Planet website. The winning remix was Come On Down, KY Raised, NY Glazed by Interlude Jones, who said he tried to take the influential sound of old New York hip-hop and marry it back to its roots. In 2005, Dealer Soul collaborated with Gorillaz on the hit single Feel Good Inc., which won a Grammy for Best Pop Vocal Collaboration, the first Grammy win in the group's career, after being nominated for a total of three Grammys. De La Soul also appeared on the LA Symphony single Universal and Posthumous collaborated with the Portuguese MC Boss AC on a track called Yo, Now Brink Com Esta Merda. The following year, they released Mixtape's Hip Hop Mixtape, a cover mound with British dance magazine Mix Mag and the Impossible Mission TV series Part 1, a release on the group's own AOI Records label. De La Soul collaborated with the athletic sneaker company Nike to produce two versions of the Nike Dunk under their skateboarding division Nike SB. In 2008, the group joined a tribe called Quest, Naz, Tech 9, The Far Side, and others on the annual Rock the Bells tour and were honored at the fifth annual VH1 Hip Hop Honors. Later in the year, they collaborated with the Dan Le Sac Viz Scroobius Pip on a re recording of the British group's debut single, Thou Shalt Always Kill. Dilosol returned as a guest on the third Gorilla Studio album, Plastic Beach, alongside Super Fairy Animals frontman Graf Rees on the song Super Fast Jellyfish. Two other collaborations were recorded but did not make the final cut for the album. They were supposed to appear on a track entitled Slopped Tropics, though this song did not make the final cut. 
The group remixed indie rocker's Yola Tango's single Here to Fall for the Here to Fall remixes EP, which included remixes by RJD2 and Pete Rock and were featured on a remix of Matt and Kim's single Daylight by DJ Troublemaker. In 2011, the group earned top five rankings on both NPR and Soul Train's year-end best-of lists with the Amerigo Gazaway produced De La Soul slash Fela Kuti mashup Fe La Soul. De La Soul and Nike released Are You In, Nike Plus Original Run, which is the group's first original material since the Impossible Mission TV series Part 1. The album features Ram, Rahim Devon as well as production from the Chicago-based duo Flostradamus. The recording is a single track, recording at 44 minutes 17 seconds, part of a continuing series of releases through the Nike Plus Sport Music section of the online store. The group released Dealer Souls Plug 1 and Plug 2 Presents First Serve in April 2012, an album that did not feature any contributions from Maceo. With little promotion, the album was released to positive reviews. This was followed by releasing one track a month during 2013. In March 2015, Dealer Soul created a Kickstarter to help fund their upcoming album. It surpassed the original goal of $110,000 in under 10 hours. The resulting album and the anonymous Nobody was released in August 2016. Originally planned for an April release, but delayed due to rights issues, the album was preceded by a four-track EP, For Your Pain and Suffering, and the single Pain, featuring Snoop Dogg. The album was nominated at the 59th Grammy Awards for Best Rap Album. De La Soul was featured on the track Moments on Gorilla's 2017 album Humans, on Leap of Faith by Mr. Jukes alongside Horace Andy, and on Tom Mish's 2018 single It Runs Through Me, a 10th studio album featuring promo- production contributions from Pete Rock and DJ Premier, will reportedly be released by Mass Appeal Records. At the 65th Grammy Awards on February 5, 2023, Postonus performed a segment of Buddy as part of the ceremony's tribute of 50 years of hip-hop. Days later, Trugoy the Dove died on February 12, 2023 at the age of 54. He had been suffering, f- suffering from congestive heart failure since 2017. His death came only weeks before the release of De La Soul's music on streaming platforms following their long-fought catalogue disputes. The remaining members of De La Soul and other artists, including Naz, Chuck D and LL Cool J, came together for the D-A-I-S-Y Experience, a tribute concert to Trugoy on March 2nd, the day before De La Soul's music was released digitally. The re-release of their music led to the group charting in the United Kingdom for the first time since 1990. On February 27, 2023, Gorillaz released a deluxe edition of their album Cracker Island, featuring De La Soul on the, tra- on the song Crocodillas being Trugoy's final recording credit with De La Soul. And that's it for the history of De La Soul here. Who knows what the future will see. Apparently we'll get an AOI release in 2023 according to Rate Your Music. Who knows if that will happen. In any case, thanks again my friends. Appreciate it.